happy Thursday. Now we're back at the vlog wall, or at least that's what I used to call it back in the day when I used to do five videos a week. Oh, that was a lot of work. Holy shmamolies. But today's question is something that got a ton of chatter on the website. And if you haven't hopped over to katiemorton.com, um, I'll put a link here to it, but you can swing over, sign up, and chat amongst each other about things that you're thinking about, concerned about, etc. And the question is, hey Katie, my therapist says that I'm really traumatized. I never really thought that I was, but I've recently realized that I am. I was wondering if you'd be able to do some more videos on trauma and being traumatized. Also, how to know if you are traumatized and just things around it, like what can be a trauma or what can cause it. Not just PTSD, because that doesn't always come with trauma, question mark. So yeah, it would be really great if you maybe could. Well, here I am. We're going to talk about it. So I want to start off, and I'm looking at my computer, because I want to give you the definition of traumatize. And I'm looking at Merriam-Webster's dictionary. You can look it up yourself if you're curious or think that I'm giving you false information. But traumatize is to cause someone to become very upset in a way that often leads to serious emotional problems. To cause someone to suffer an emotional trauma. That is to traumatize. Now, tra being traumatized is not something that can be diagnosed. There are no certain sets of symptoms that you have to have in order to get that diagnosis. There isn't a certain amount of time it needs to go on. None of that stuff pertains to being traumatized. Trauma really means that something has happened to you that was so psychologically disturbing that you can't process it, it's too much, and you find it bothering you later in life. Sometimes that can lead to PTSD, but not always. So with regard to this question, what can cause us to be traumatized? And like I said, trauma can be caused, or traumatization can be caused by anything happening in our life when we're not able to process it. It's so intense emotionally and psychologically that we can't process it in the moment. We maybe don't process it for years. There can be things that pop back up and we really struggle to cope or certain situations or sounds or signs or symptoms that can even cause flashbacks. Because having a flashback doesn't necessarily mean that you have PTSD. You can click here. I will link to my PTSD video um, so that you can listen to the diagnostic criteria around that. But you can be traumatized. You can have a situation happen that's so overwhelming and too much to process without having PTSD. And so, honestly, in order for us to be traumatized, it just means that something has to happen that we weren't able to process. And everyone's going to be different. This is something a lot of my clients have struggled with is, wait, so my brothers and sisters and I, let's say there's like four of them or something, we're all in the same situation and we all were in that car crash. However, I'm the only one that still struggles with it. Why is that? And there's a lot of thoughts on this. And actually, there was an answer in the website that was really great where she talked about resiliency. And that is a true thing. Each person has their own level of resiliency, meaning how many healthy coping skills do I have? What's my support system like? How am I put together as a person? Do I have secure attachment as a child? There are a million factors that make up our resiliency and how resilient we can be in a situation. And so let's say you didn't have the same resiliency as your brothers and sisters. Maybe mom was working full time and wasn't around much when you were a kid, so you don't have quite as secure of an attachment. Or maybe something else has happened to you when you're younger. It doesn't matter, there's a ton of things that can lead to our resiliency, and there are a lot of factors that can cause us to be traumatized when other people in the same situation won't. So that, I guess, is my caution to you, is don't compare your experience and your traumatization to others who've been through it as well, because everyone is going to be different. And so on that note, we might not know if we've been traumatized. Things can happen that are overwhelming. Things happen all the time that are overwhelming, but we may not have a traumatized response until later where talking about that situation or being in similar situations are just too much and can cause things to come back. We can have flashbacks. We can even dissociate. All of those things can be part of PTSD as well, but they could on their own stand alone as a trauma response. And so know that we may not know in the moment that we are traumatized, but it may be something that can come up later. And if it is coming back and bothering you, call somebody, see a therapist, start working on it. If it just happened and it's bothering you, see someone, because we know that talking through traumas, giving our brain the time it needed to process it, walking it through moment by moment, can help our brain process it and put it to rest so that it doesn't continue to bother us throughout the rest of our lives. And the sooner, the better, and know that 
We all go through difficult times. There's nothing weird about this. It's okay to have been through hard things and to be struggling with them now. Just know that the sooner we get help, the better. And please, as always, share your thoughts about this. Have you been traumatized? Have you known someone who's been through a trauma? Do you have PTSD or maybe not? And what have, what has your therapist given you for tips and tricks? A lot of things that I work on with my clients, a lot of techniques I give them have to do with breathing techniques, grounding techniques, and other DBT skills. One of those being mindfulness and just being aware of how your body is responding and knowing how to bring that anxiety level down to stay in your body, to stay present in the moment. There's a lot of different tools and tips and tricks that we can utilize. So let us know what your therapist has offered up for you. And if you like this video and you want more content about trauma, give it a thumbs up and I will see you on Monday. Bye.